as we actually had our first case reported on the 21st of March. Uh, by then, we already uh, had our team set up in the different regions. Uh, a team is composed of uh, physicians, uh, nurses, public health inspectors, and because of the need, we also had vector control. So uh, with that, we each one has an, an identifiable role to play in, in, the, in the teams itself, so that when they go out and do these kind of case investigations, then each one knows what their role should be. Uh, in this response, we knew the first cases were in San Pedro, and of course the measures there was uh, immediately put in place of a lockdown on the entire island, which, which of course uh, could have done a lot of mitigation uh, with, with that. Individuals who uh, were out there actually kn knew their role, that what they were supposed to do. Work, of course, expanded then that they actually had to continue with contact tracing. Uh, just to touch on contact tracing, it is something that you need to inquire from the individual who has tested positive, that there is a series of walkthroughs that you need to do with that person. Uh, you need to find out daily what they did in the past. I know we talk about incubation period of four to 14 days, so we need to go back and find out the history of that person. Uh, that means that you need to inquire uh, their travel history, where they were, who they came in contact with, what they did on a daily basis, their routine activities, and what else they probably held in some social gathering. That is actually uh, it's a, it's an exercise and it's a map out that you do day by day that you need to look at those processes and the individuals who they came in contact with. Uh, to mention to you that uh, contact tracing also goes by tiers, that it is not actually everybody who are high-risk individuals. Uh, individuals who are in your household or who you work with directly throughout the day, these are the individuals we would consider the highest risk. Uh, others are those that probably you come in contact occasionally and they would be classified as a medium to low. And then you have the casual contacts who might be somebody that you hail across the street or you, you run into at the store. These are, of course, individuals at the, at the lowest risk.